Football may be known as the beautiful game, but underwater rugby will take your breath away. Players here at a pool in Newark, New Jersey, say it's a great way to get your kicks. It just starts with the fact that you don't have air. You know what I mean? From there, like everything is twice as complicated. Then you have the contact part of it. It's in the water, so it's not a it's a different type of, of contact, you know what I mean? So all of that gives you a rush of excitement. And it's very cool to feel it. The New Jersey Hammerheads formed in 2006 and have about 35 members. There are currently seven teams in the United States, and those here hope the game will continue to rise in popularity. Many of the New Jersey Hammerheads behind me say one of the best parts about the sport is the fact that it's completely three-dimensional. You can tackle and be tackled from any angle. But on the surface, that's rather hard to get a glimpse of. So I'm going in for a closer look. Unlike the version of rugby played on land, there are no tries, scrums or line-outs here. But there is certainly tackling. You have two baskets at the bottom. You have two teams of six in the water and six outside. They are free, so free sowing. Um, from the, the idea is to put the ball in the other team's basket. Uh, if you have the ball, anyone from the other team can grab you. But as soon as you let the ball go, they have to let you go. Players here say that it's not as dangerous as it might seem, but concede it's both a mental and physical workout. To really keep myself calm under stressful situations, especially when you're not able to breathe. And at the same time, people are trying to tackle you, trying to take the ball away from you. And that's basically what really attracts me to the sport. Underwater rugby is now being played in around 30 nations, with the next world championship set for Austria in 2019. It's a game still very much below the surface of the sporting mainstream. But players here are optimistic it can keep making waves on the global sports scene. William Denslow, CGTN, Newark, New Jersey.